Like many of you, when I saw the season finale of WandaVision, I was expecting a big reveal. We were finally going to see how it happened. How Pietro from the X-Men universe ended up in the MCU. Was it Agatha all along, as she claims? Was it Wanda subconsciously doing it? Was it a Scarlet Witch from an alternate dimension? Or was it someone bigger at play? Finally, I was about to have my answer after nine long weeks of waiting. I was finally about to see the connection. And then it happened. You're Ralph Boner? Boner. <laughs> and I shared the reaction of many of you out there. Oh, fuck me. It was all for nothing. The theories, the teasers, the buildup, all of it. Just for a boner joke? Or was it? There are theories that are still floating around that Ralph is indeed Pietro from the X-Men universe, and that Ralph Boner is just a cover name. It does sound like something that the X-Men universe's Pietro would choose after all. There is some evidence to support it. After all, Jimmy Woo did show up looking for a missing person for the FBI. That person was Ralph, but no one who's had contact with him remembers Ralph. Why is that? We know that all the residents in Westview were aware of what was happening, they just couldn't do anything about it. They never had their memories wiped, so this begs the question, why don't they remember Ralph? Another theory suggests that WandaVision left Ralph with an open ending because he is still, and always has been, the X-Men Pietro. The theory claims this by pointing out at the end of episode 9, we see all the residents of Westview except Ralph. We then see Monica and Jimmy Woo in the after credit scene, but still no Ralph. After Monica rips off the necklace that Agatha put on Ralph seemingly to control him, we just never see him again. Why is that? Where did he go? Did the FBI move him to another safe house? Did he run away? There has to be a bigger plan at play than this. Another thing to notice is that after Monica rips off the necklace, we never see Ralph use his speed power again. Now we all just assume this was because the necklace Agatha gave him held those powers, but did it? We never see Pietro again, so we don't know. The necklace could have just been used to control Pietro and make him think he is Ralph, but not give him his powers. He already had those. Now, I'm really hesitant to believe any of these rumors and theories, to be honest. Maybe there really is nothing to any of these rumors and theories. Maybe this all was just for a boner joke. Boner. <laughs> I mean, remember when Monica said she knew an aerospace engineer? I immediately thought Reed Richards. It all made sense. The Fantastic Four is set to release in the next couple of years under Marvel. What better way to introduce Reed Richards than before he becomes Mr. Fantastic? Then I thought, that's crazy. It's much more likely that it'll be Adam Brashear, aka Blue Marvel. Although technically Adam Brashear is not an aerospace engineer, he has a PhD in theoretical physics and a master's in science of electrical engineering. But it turned out to be neither, just another part of the S.W.O.R.D. agency. Another disappointment. That was my biggest problem with WandaVision. It left so many clues, but it all turned out to be a whole lot of nothing. And maybe that truly is what happened with bringing Evan Peters into the MCU. Maybe it all was just for a boner joke. Boner. <laughs> now, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to be notified when I upload my next video. And make sure to comment your thoughts on if there's still a chance that Ralph is Pietro down in the comment section below. And remember, with great power comes great responsibility. And I will see you in the next one.